Hey there, Board Game Maniacs. We are here with Shane, Lance, and Mike. That's kind of hiding behind Shane. Uh, we're here. We're doing an unboxing of Zombicide Invaders. Now, Shane just got this in the mail yesterday? Yes. Yesterday. And do you want to talk about the Kickstarter? What did you uh, sign up for? Uh, I pretty much went all in. I got everything except for some of the character packs and the plastic tokens. They had a, uh, a thing to stack your item cards and stuff in it and get that out of there. And I didn't get the dice because I'm not paying $10 for dice. But you got a crap ton of stuff we can uh, see yeah, on the table. I, not as much as I got with Green Horde, but it, it's, uh, it's enough. And I can't believe it's not open yet from yesterday. I know you... Uh, yeah. I you, wanted to. Yeah, you messaged me and said, hey, we're gonna, you want to do an unboxing? I'm like, hell yeah. He was really trying to open it. Yeah, I was gonna. I actually <laughs> had the knife out and he stopped me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't open it. But, you know, like, uh, thank you for uh, holding off so that we can uh, do an unboxing on camera and see the lovely goodness inside. Let's go in for a closer look at all the boxes before Shane starts ripping them open. This is the core box right here, the Zombicide Invader. And also, Shane purchased an extra, which is called Dark Side, and he also purchased Zombicide Black Ops. And you can see behind here, there's some lovely box goodness here, and this is all of the stretch goals, such like civilian extras, Dark Side extras, promo, Xenos pack, and soldier extras. Now, we are not going to be unboxing any of these. You're just going to have to tune into the Board Game Maniacs channel in the future and see us play the game where we use these goodies. But we are going to unbox the core box, and depending on how long it takes, we may even do Dark Side and Black Ops. There we go, this is the core box, Space Invaders, and just as a rule of thumb, Space Invaders, and Zombie Invaders, that's right. <laughs> so before we open the box, we do like we always do in what's inside the box. We admire the artwork and everything. It's a little bit of a glare, but you can see it is like zombie aliens, I guess, in space, because you have all of the characters in spacesuits. And let's just flip it over here, take a little gander at what we have inside, before we open it, obviously. But you have 72 miniatures in total. So just like every cool mini or not board game, it does come with oodles and oodles and oodles of miniatures. And that is just for the core game itself. And then you're looking at all the expansions with extra miniatures, so a lot of stuff going on. Six survivors, 35 workers, 14 tanks, 14 hunters, one abomination, one peacemaker bot, hmm, one uh, falcon century gun, nine double-sided game tiles, six survivor dashboards, and so on. I'm not going to keep reading this. You do get your dice in here, trackers, and so on. And just one six players, 14 plus rating, and an hour estimated time. And that's if you know how to play the game. If you're still learning it, it's obviously going to take more than an hour. But anyhow, enough of this piddle paddling around. Let's just go and rip this baby open. Here it goes. Now, Shane offered me a knife, but as everybody who watched unboxing videos onto the channel knows that we don't need a knife airport game maniacs. So we just we put our hands in and we just start scrubbing. Whoop. Oh, I'm wrecking the place. <laughs> Shane, you got that knife? No, I'm joking. It's more anticipation. See, look. And then it pops open just like that. Then we grab it and we rip it open just like this. And then we say, plastic. That hurt looks way better without the plastic. And as Shane pointed out, the artwork does look a lot better without the plastic because there's no glare onto it. It's a very nice matte box. And you can see some little, like, metal damage going on so it's pretty cool how they designed the box as i was okay now the big reveal and that is the new board game box smell Whew. oh excuse me oh yeah oh i'm doing this because lance's feet really stink bad we see here starting up we got the rules and missions and as always we're going to flip it over to see how many pages in total this manual is and again this is the missions too as well it's 55 pages really cool take a look at the artwork inside and as always with cool mini or not games really cool artwork going on oh you get really fancy dashboards they kind of resemble the one for black plague they do but they've got more slots for your oxygen tanks Oh, auction things. That's right, because it's out in space. I forgot about that. So really nice. Tells you all about the game, how to play it. 
curious to see how different it is the rules are compared to the uh, the other Zombicide. I just want to flip over to the scenarios, see how many scenarios are in this book. So it's still combat. Now, it's still talking about the rules, and we're on page 33, so it is a little bit more lengthier on the information. Or they just wrote it better. Yeah, it could be. Oh, so 16 missions. So in this book, they contain 16 missions, and it starts on page 38, and it goes to uh, uh, page 51. And what's really cool, too, is just like as before, it's got all the skills and everything listed. So it's kind of like a quick lookup table that you can do when you're playing the game. What you can see here in the package, these are molds. There are 15 in total. One side is active, the other side is inactive. So I'm assuming when you're playing the game, uh, you can do something to activate, and you'll have to unactivate the mold so you don't get infected. There's the box containing all the miniatures. Oh look, we got the key code, but I'm not opening this up yet because he saved the minis for last. And here we go. This here is all the tiles, all the tokens and everything you get into this. We're gonna rip it open and check it out in detail. Taking a closer look at the tokens first off, let's get this up to the camera a little bit. So you see up here, these are your classic doors, but these are space doors. And these they all start open. Yes, that's right. They start opening the game and you have to close them. So it's kind of like in Resident Evil when you go through a door. I'm talking about video game wise. You want to make sure you close the door if you don't want anything yeah. coming in after you. So this may play effect like that. We have your noise tokens too as well. Your exit. Uh, this one here is your first player token. These are your spawn points. Different colors obviously. These are just like in your standard zombie side. These are your objective tokens. Now... This is interesting. These ones here are new, and they are machine activation. So you can activate a machine or something during the game, which is really interesting. I guess it'll be the gun turrets and stuff. That would be really cool that you have to actually activate it. And then maybe, you know, it runs out of juice or something. I don't know. We'll know when we play the game. And this one here is a camouflage token. There's only one in the whole game. I'm interested to see what exactly that is. I'm going to assume it's a character that has that ability. Or any character can grab yeah, that ability. Uh, yeah, it's going to probably work the same as... Uh, Predator? Uh, no, not Slippery. The other one where you can uh, not get attacked. Where you can you just cover yourself in the zombie blood and they don't bother you. Oh, like, yes, oh, yes, yes. I can't remember the name. But I figure it's probably going to work the same way. Yeah, that'd be cool. Because that's the thing. is you. That's right. They won't even bother touching you. Yeah. And it's only for a round, though, I think. And then yeah. that's it. And then you tap it and you bring it back again. So I, it's been a long time since we played it. Also, too, as well as we have a couple other tokens here that are a little different. And they are just objective ones, too, as well. Like a sentry gun remote, bolt remote, and so on. So that is part of the tokens right there so far. Next, we're looking at the, the tiles that you get. Now, this is probably, this is pretty much standard size for any Zombicide game. And you get nine of them. And just as usual, they are double-sided. And... One difference I have to point out towards the other Zombicide that we played is these tiles look a lot more cleaner. Yeah, the, the detail is sharper. Yeah, I don't know if it's just they purposely did it or they got a different, maybe, yeah, maybe they got printer. A different printer. I also like the way that it's got the tile marked in every corner. Yeah. That's convenient. Now, again, most Zombicide, they only have them in one corner, but as where Shane pointed out, let me get a little closer here. So there, there, there. And there. So again, that makes things super more easy to find it and set up the tile. And again, you get nine of them. I'm not going to flip through them all, but you can see nice and detailed, nice and clean. I like it. Hey Shane, before we open this here and before I start recording it, um, do you know the code to get into the box? They didn't give me that. You mean like we can't open this up to... Well, you can hack it. You're really good at hacking. You go ahead and hack it. Give me, give me a code. Like, what would the hack code be, do you think? I, I think it's just going to be four ones. Four. Just one, 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 one. I bet you had a, a, a lock for high school for your locker, and that's what it was. It was. That's what I kind of fit. Okay. It well, was oh, one, two, three, four. Oh, so we're, we're, uh, we're recording here. Okay, anyhow. This is a boxer, and open it up. And, you know, it's secure, so beep, 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 beep. Let's see. Look at that. Oh, and it got the unlock symbol. Nice job. I know everybody wants to see the miniatures, but before we get to the miniatures, we're going to look at everything else. Again, the miniatures are last. So your standard T6s, 
and you get one, two, three, four, five, six D6s into it. Your pegs, we all know what these are, and your clips are for to put onto your character data board so that you can keep track of everything. We got your miniature bases to keep separate, so in case you don't want to paint them and you just play them, you know what color is which. We also have these are your cards, like your item cards and everything. And oh, do you know what? I'm not opening these up. The reason why I know you want. Do you want me to open them now? Well, no. I just figured that we're gonna wait till I sort it all into the proper boxes to open those things. Otherwise, they'll just get all over the place. Yeah, and plus, I, I kind of would like it to be a surprise when we do end up playing the game on the channel. Definitely. We'll be like totally blown away by like this prototype assault shotgun. Woo! And you can see the stats here too as well. Uh, three dice. Oh, so this time for the dice, you know the cards that usually had blood drops or whatever. It actually has symbols of dice on this. Oh, nice. And so it shows you how many dice and what you need to roll, what the damage is, and the range. The range is like an arrow, so one to two for this. And it is... Uh, a gun obviously because it is a shotgun but that's really cool so they did change kind of like the idea of this here i'm talking in the camera and that and i'm you know like shane didn't even see them himself yet i'm just well, rambling I'm on there's going to be markings on the cards as well because that shotgun you couldn't use outside because there's no oxygen and i remember you know only certain things will work outside uh interesting this shotgun don't make noise maybe it's a laser shotgun in which case it would work outside I don't know how you would have a laser shotgun. And it says it requires an attached energy cell to use. Right, so that's an energy shotgun. An energy shotgun, yeah. yeah so Very interesting. And it got that little energy icon yeah, into the little that's corner. Really how you know. Yeah, pretty cool. And there's the back of them. Again, we are going to save this for the gameplay. I know we're saying, like, why are you doing this? We want to see the cards, but nope, gotta wait. Here's a look at the character dashboard. So I like the color of it. You can see there's a slot here for body, for your hand, for your other hand, and another body one. And then your equipment cards go in here. Your character card will go here, and your pegs, your experience level too as well. I'm really glad they didn't get rid of this, because I think that's one big thing that really determines about Zombicide, is the more experience you get and the more powerful you become. Definitely. I also noticed that it's got weird slots for a card to go this way and a card to go yeah. this way. I believe that's where you put in your energy clip for your weapon or something, or your oxygen tank. Like your power cell or something. So yes. it kind of, it might possibly stick out on the side here, and then yeah. the other one is vertical. Oh, that's right. That's really interesting. But they're, they're nice and sturdy. Like, you can feel the durability of them, and they could use some good plastic resin to make them. But Shane did point out they are very thin. So that's a good, a good thing for when you're storing them. It's not taking up so much more room. I really like the color of it. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so on Shane's request, he's like, don't give them the stats, just give them the character what you get. So you'll have to tune in later to see what the stats are or check out other videos that are online. I'm sure there is. So there's Vivian. She kind of looks like uh, Ellen Ripley from Alien. Ah, uh, she probably was supposed to be. Yeah. And then we have another one, Mitsuki. You now, she's in some power armor of some type. Um, Magnus, that's like super power armor. He's like a tank. Woo, look at that guy. Oh, Jared, another power armor dude, but he's well, wearing a mask. Those guys have better stats, but they can't loot or something silly like that. Oh, and we got Cole. Do you know who he looks like? Adrian Brody. He was in the, this, the remake of Predator. It's called Predators, actually. They were oh, stuck yeah, on the planet. He he looks a lot like Adri Adrian Brody. That is insane. Whoa. Baraka. She looks like a powerhouse too as well. Very nice. And back to Vivian. Now, I think we should at least do one stat just so that they know. Sure. Sure. So, you pick what stat. Well, I don't know. Let's check out uh, Vivian. She's on Viv top. Oh, she's on top. I was going to say it because she's just right there. And... We, everybody knows that I'm lazy and, you know, uh, Shane Lazy would be literally just flipping the stack over. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, that, okay, so we're, we're somewhat lazy. How was that? So, Vivian, let's look at the stats here. So, she has Taunt in blue. Yellow is plus one action. Orange, free melee action. Plus one free melee. Remote control bot. That would be interesting. Yeah. And then the red, plus one die range. One free range action and shove. 
So it seems like all the skills are the same. I yeah. There's all those skills except for the bot one, which is fairly... And you can see their... I, I'm assuming this is kind of like their health meter? That's, that's, it, that's exactly it. So... The, the, the people outside the power armor have very little health, but they can do other things. They yeah. Can, they can loot, they can do whatever else. That there's limitations, which I thought was kind of interesting. Let's try to get that in focus a little better. Get in focus. I'm just touch my camera if you see it wobbling a bit. There we go. Uh, so, also too as well, like, it only has like two one in the blue, so I think these are grayed out, but I'm thinking during the game you may be able to increase your stats on this. Now this is just all hypothetical because we didn't look in the rule book. This is strictly just an unboxing video. But that is it that we're going for the stats and everything, but that is your six characters that you can be in the game. Last but not least, we are on to the miniatures now, as promised. So you can see, just to separate them, if you don't want to paint them, the brown is like the aliens, and the heroes are in the light gray. So let's just take a peek at one of them here. Let's look at uh, Vivian. Is that her name? Yeah, Vivian, or Ellen Ripley. Hmm. Let me take a close look at that. So you can see her there, nicely detailed. All I, I found with Cole Mini or not, their miniatures are all nicely detailed. No matter what game you get that have miniatures. And they just have a number on them. I thought maybe they would have put the names onto them for a change. Oh, that would have been beautiful. Yeah, tell me about it and say you have to write them on the bottom. but Or just paint them according to their picture. So there's a back shot of it. She looks pretty, you know, she looks a lot like her, her picture, her cartoon picture. And you can see how she, her major gun, like it, it's a pretty heavy weapon there. Really cool. Now, we looked at the Abomination. I'm not going over every character. You're going to just going to have to buy the game or watch the videos that are going to be on our channel. Let's just look at, like, maybe one of the aliens and then the Abomination. Next we're looking at is the Xenos. Now, this is probably, like, equivalent to your standard zombie. But they're not zombies. They're aliens, so your standard alien. Super detailed. The pose is pretty dramatic, too, as well. It's like he's, you know, hanging out on a wall or... He just finished working out, or he's just ready to pounce. We got to get in camera. There we go. Uh, I was just watching Shane. He was kind of making like the the pose of the miniature, and yeah, I didn't have the camera on him. Unfortunately, that was pretty funny. But that's the miniature for the Xenos. Now let's go on to like see if we can find like a fatty Xenos possibly, and then we'll go on to the Abomination. Just so we keep on the same pack, we did actually just look into the instruction book, and these are known as workers. That's the proper name for them. The artwork for that's pretty cool. Next, we have the tanks. Now, these are looking pretty super cool. It's kind of getting out of focus because it wants to grab the, the background. And the tank here, damage dealt is two to eliminate is two damage. Experience provided is one point. So I guess these would be kind of classified as fatties, do this, you think? the fatties of this game, yeah. Yeah, and the next we're going to show you, they're called the hunters. Now, um, they would be equivalent to the runners. Yeah. So that is the tanks. You're welcome. Next we have, if the camera will decide to get in focus, come on baby, there we go. These are the hunters which are equivalent to the runners. You can see they have a lot of tentacles. They have two action points just like the runners do. And the uh, damage dealt is one and damage is one too as well. So one point, one hit point on them. So you just, just like the runners, you kill them and they're dead with one hit. Last but not least is the Abominations, and these guys are pretty beefy looking. They're really scary too. Super detail. It's like they got eyes in their back so they can see you sneak up onto them. <laughs> pretty cool. Now the proper name for these are called Spoiler Abominations. They are power of three, just like the other Abominations. And to eliminate you got a damage at three, it's worth five experience points. Now, uh, previously in the video I showed the... Uh, the, the mold, the inactive and active mold, these guys are the ones that spread the mold and only in interior. They can't do it in exterior zones, according to the book. Whenever a spoiler abomination stands in a room or corridor zone without mold, set an active mold token in the zone. It is now a mold zone. If the zone has an inactive mold token, flip it back to an active side instead. So as long as these are into a, uh, a zone that has mold, then it is active. If they're not, then it's inactive. And we all know that mold is bad because it will kill you. I just noticed on the back of the book here, target priority, they kind of change it up a bit. Now, 
Target priority number one is a tank and abomination. What, you say? That means that if there are some workers and an abomination into the same zone, you have to kill the abomination or tank before you do the workers, which are, the workers are less powerful. This is crazy. So if you don't have a power three weapon, you're not gonna be able to shoot the abomination, which means you can shoot as much as you want in that zone and the workers will not get touched until you kill the abomination. So you're gonna have to run as fast as you can to get out of the way. And then again, target part number two is workers, and then number three is the hunters. That's gonna make a very interesting game mechanic for playing this. Well, there you have it, Board Game Maniacs, Zombicide Invader. What you get into the core box, I'll try to get this up on the net as quick as possible, and hopefully it's gonna be, you know, it's going to interest you enough to want to buy the game or even just come back and watch us play the game. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to do an unboxing of the Dark Side 2 as well. But what Shane said, that is a standalone game. So again, you don't need to have invaders to play Dark Side, which is really interesting, but that's going to be a separate video. So look out for that one on the channel. All right. So this here is the unboxing for Zombicide Dark Side. It is a standalone expansion for Zombicide Invaders. Now, if you came from the other video, you know that Shane purchased pretty much almost everything you can get into the Kickstarter thing. I don't want to know how much that cost Shane because it probably was a pretty penny. Yeah, I didn't tell the wife either. <laughs> so we're going to pop this open. But again, just as usual, we're going to look at the uh, artwork in the glaring plastic you can see there the different colored armor than the other kind too as well different aliens i was going to say zombies but they are aliens but i'm wondering if they do call them xenos we'll find out one six players 14 plus in our gameplay average too as well and in here you get a lot of miniatures too 72 miniatures in total you get the dice the id cards i'm wondering if you get the uh the bid the da you do, you get the survivor dashboards too. That's really cool. So you don't even have to use the other ones and you get extra characters, different aliens. Now, you can see the heroes are stick with the same color of gray, but the aliens for this one, so you can distinguish them from the other core box is going to be the red ones. So let's rip it open and see what's inside. Now for this unboxing, it's gonna be a little bit more shorter because this is, uh, it is a standalone expansion, but if you want to have more detail, I'm sure there, you can just go to the Cool Mini or Not website and you can check on all of the goodies that are inside this in more detail. But we're just going to go over a brief unboxing of this. So I'm going to rip the plastic open as always. And there we go. And I think I left some of my skin. Nah, let's see. Let's rip it open. Come on. Change just stand there. Like, I don't know how come you're so calm. I love unboxing, opening new games, like even if they're not mine. Plastic. All right, it's time for that lovely, lovely new board game box smell. Let's open it up. Oh, oh, this smells really nice. There we go. All righty. So we got the rules manual and we got holes and rubble. Like Shane told me that in this box that they did. What they, the aliens probably do is they drill up through the ground instead of the other ones, it was mold for the core. So we got mold and we got holes. Hmm, interesting. So let's take a look at this. How many pages is this one? 55 pages, I think that was the same for the other one too as well. So I, I think what it is is they just pretty much regurgitated the whole same thing, course. except for, you know, like the maybe a page or two of different rules as opposed to the, the core box. We're just gonna take a quick peek through. Chainsaw, ooh, Kevin will be happy about that. Dashboard, oh, I like it a look at these boards. We'll have to take a look at that. Nice and clean though. Cards look cool. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> this reminds me, if anybody have watched the TV series, The Tick, into the, the yes, I just finished watching the two seasons, and in the second season, they're uh, like a, a shell, shell Hercules. I can't remember what yeah. they're called, but it looks exactly like this. Like it's funny. I watched all that. I watched all the old Tick. I watched all the cartoons. I never seen the Tick the, cartoons. The Tick cartoons are hilarious. Mm -hmm. the, the older live action one is really good too. Really cool artwork. I'll have to check that out. 
Ooh, look, like, look at that gun. Ooh, uh, eh. uh, the boards look so clean. Driller abomination, so again, where they drill. And these are pits. So these here are pits, the rubble, and then the pit when they drill through. Mm -hmm. I'm just flipping through really quickly here. It looks really cool. Whoa, look at that artwork right there. That guy looks kind of like a space marine. Oh. Oh, yeah, pretty tanky. All right, so this is the book. We will go through the book, or the box quickly here, see what else is in it. Let's look at the tiles that we get in here too as well. So, pretty much these are very close to the same ones, the doors. We got the noise tokens. These are different. These are called prototype, what did I say they were? Prototype weapons. So, they could be for the vault, who knows, but they're a prototype. Your exit, well, we have an alien looking First thing player. here. First player, that's right, huh? Your spawns, objective markers. These are the same, and these ones here, the machine activators, exactly the same too as well. Double-sided, pretty simple. Here we're looking at the tiles, nine tiles. They're double-sided, and I did not know about this. Shane kind of pointed it out, though, is that this here, because I said it looked like a mine off-camera, and it's the underground facility of the first core game of the Zombicide Invaders. But again, these tiles are nice and clean. You know, you can see the outskirts here and the rooms. Like, I'm really impressed by the artwork on these tiles. They did a great job. Kind of feeling sorry for not jumping on the Kickstarter for this now because of the look of it is pretty cool. But I have a lot of Zombicide stuff, as Shane does too. Like, we, that was our go-to game for how long? Like, a long time. Look at that tile, like, whoa. Really cool. All right, let's move on and look at the miniatures. And here we have the box that contains all the miniatures, but it, it's locked out. We tried all ones and it didn't work. Lance, That's you. what was your uh, code in school? Your lock combination code? Can you remember? No. Really? Can you remember yours, I Mike? I never used my locker in school. <laughs> um, let's just try twos. Beep, 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 beep. Eh. No, wrong. Uh, I, I think it's like pound two, four. <laughs> Let's try it. Beep, 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 ding, 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 ding. Oh, Shane knows it. I think they're personally customized. Can we not make some customized yeah, for the person? Checks. I'm thinking we so. We got fingerprint scan before we even try it, so we got the code. So pound two four. Okay, remember that for the gameplay. <laughs> All right. So I'm not going to go over the dashboards because they're exactly the same. Now. Oh, these are, now the first, the core box only had one pack that had the two, like the weapons on one and then the other cards, the spawn cards on the other, but now they separated them. I wonder why. Yeah, who knows? May, but I know there's more, no, ooh, let's look at this. Uh, prototype assault rifle, no sound. Prototype weapon requires an attached energy cell to use, just as usual. One to three range, three dice, four plus, and one damage. I'm just going by this pretty quick. Uh, a driller, worker, spawn. Eight, six, four, and two. I don't know what these would be. Do you have any? They're going to be the wild. Those are going to be your difficulty levels. Oh, that's four right. So if you're in the red, then I'll be okay. <laughs> it's been a long time since we played Zombicide, okay? But hopefully for October, we're going to be playing some Zombicide because we need our zombies. But would this really be called zombie? I know it's zombicide, it, but it it's should be, aliens. It should be xenocide. Really. Yeah, really, because they're not zombies. So that is the cards pack. So we're not opening this because, again, you need to watch the videos when we do the gameplay. Now, these are your characters. We're not going to, again, look at all the stats, but we'll see what characters you do get. So this is Umkos, U-M-K-O-S. I guess it's Umkos. <laughs> Reese, pretty kick-ass female. Radka, another female. Miranda, another female. Miles. And Drake, really heavy power armor there. Yeah, so again, I think it's, you know, three males and three females, but that alien Umkos, I don't know if he's a male or female, but 
not gender specific. No, no, we don't we don't assume gender here. Yeah, that's right. So there's your characters. We'll just flip over one for the stats. So look at Miles. Miles, zero G gun in blue, plus one activation yellow, and in amber it's one free melee action, remote control boss, and in red one plus plus one die combat, one free move action, and lucky. And you can see he starts off at three two one for his hit points. Really cool. Those are the characters. And just as always, you got your six D6s, your pegs, and your clips put on your miniatures for distinguishing them apart from each other. We're looking at the minis, and this is the Driller Worker. These are kind of like your just standard run-of-the-mill... Walkers. Yeah, walkers. These are the guys you want to send out to, you know, they're going to hold back the heroes and hopefully kill some before the tanks or the abominations come in. Next, we are looking at the Driller Tanks. Now, there's two different poses for these guys. They look pretty menacing. They're, they're very close to, like, the... The pose and detail of the old abominations from like season one. Very close. I, it, I really like the look of these guys. I was telling Shane that it'd be nice to paint these up because they got super detail. Like you can't, hopefully the camera will pick up the detail, but like you run your finger onto them and you can see all the protrusions going on. It's really, really cool. You can see there's got like a, the spine, the exposed spine, it got a tail elongated fingers or they look very like crustacean wise and it probably be for when they're drilling it kind of helps them a bit more and last but not least is the abomination now this abomination again it's a three power look at the detail on this like they went all out for this miniature this is crazy very crustacean looking kind of reminds me of like a, a beetle like a battle beetle or something super detailed Nice big base onto it. It's got the tongue. Now the tongue kind of reminds me. I'm kind of just getting in to get more focus onto it. Tongue kind of reminds me of the tongues from the Alien movies where they kind of whipped at their mouth. That's what it looks like. Mixed with like tremors. Yeah, maybe. So it's like a tremor alien well, they're kind drillers, of. Well, so tremors makes more sense. Yeah, true, because they were drillers too as well. Yeah. That's right. But that is the abomination. Pretty impressive, cool mini or not. Because the second video was so short, I decided this is going to be all one video. So you have the core and then you have the standalone dark side. Now, we are not going to be opening Black Ops, which is an expansion for it. But you do need to have the core for this. It looks or, really or cool. Dark side, I guess. Or dark side. Well, we'd have to look into the, uh, the instruction book to find out. But you can see this massive monster right here. It's I wouldn't want to deal with him at all. And he's probably in. Yep, he's in the game. He's right there. So you can see you get some more hero characters and you don't really, you don't get any other aliens. You just get the one big guy because there are only nine miniatures in total in this Black Ops expansion. Well, I believe the whole premise behind this one is you're going into their area to kill them. Oh, you can see the tiles. One thing I noticed too as well is if you look here, it's one to 12 players. So you can add the extra one. So if you have a big game night going on of, you know, up to 12 players, then, you know, you just throw these in and away you go. It take a long time to play a game with 12 people, though. Yeah, it says an hour, but the 12 people I play games with don't stop talking. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's going to take it's way slow. too long. Wait, wait a minute. I'm one of them people that you play games with. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fine. All right. In any case... There you go, Board Game Maniacs. I hope you enjoyed this. And again, this is just a, a look at the 3D doors that you can get to as well for the Zombicide Invaders. Multicolored doors and the door frames. Very cool. Guillotine games and cool mini or not. Awesome. Well, Shane, thanks for taking it in to, to get the viewers to be able to look at what's going inside the boxes. And just for future reference, stay tuned to Board Game Maniacs. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. We do do giveaways all the time on our channel we already gave one giveaway and somebody won a board game the second giveaway is a board game maniacs hoodie and we're just going to keep adding more and more so just check out the giveaway video onto our channel board game maniacs on youtube you can check us out on facebook instagram as well so until next time board game maniacs you know what i'm gonna say and that is be a maniac hope you enjoyed that video if you want to keep up to date with Board Game Maniacs, click on the like and subscribe button to be notified when more videos come available. 
If you want to become an official sponsor of Board Game Maniacs, go to patreon.com slash boardgamemaniacs or you can go to streamlabs.com slash boardgamemaniacs1. That's right, and you can donate to help keep the lights on, keep food in our bellies, and play more games. We'll purchase more games, more equipment to make Board Game Maniacs evolve and get bigger and larger because of you, the viewers. I thank you from the bottom of my toes to the top of my head for all of your support. And until next time, Board Game Maniacs, be a maniac.